So what were the new things that we saw today? First of all, for multiple lenses, forget about the chart and forget about the rules of thumb that we learned before. And also we saw that now you have to worry that uh, about the object distance being negative. Obviously not for the first lens, but for the second lens. So here's the rules that we saw for the object distance. Um, you have to be very careful about labeling your distances. You don't just want to say 10, you want to say from where to where is 10. For example, we saw, um, and the other point is, we know the image from the first lens is the object for the second lens. Well, the image from the first lens was at 30 centimeters. So it would be very tempting to plug in 30 centimeters for S over here. But even though they're at the same point, they're measured versus different things. So we don't put in 30 here, we had to actually calculate that this was 10. So you need a good chart to figure out what those distances um, are going to be. All right, and then this original magnification equation. We haven't had to use this very much because we had our chart, but now you really have to go back to this and remember the negative sign to work it out. Okay, well you definitely should try this problem again yeah. before the test and you have all this in your notes now. Okay. Uh, one more thing on that problem we just did. Um, if it's multiple lenses, you'll have to use the lens mirror equation twice. It's very important to label when you're working with the first lens and when you're working with the second lens because all the variables for the first lens are different than the variables for the second lens.